All right, so today we've got a contractor's line set up here and we are going to be installing a hedge. How you want to do this is you want to get your two line points of where you want your contractor or where you want your hedge to be going. So we've already taken it off because we're finished uh, doing the line that you've run this uh, to another stake over there. And then every four feet on this one, I'm oh, sorry, three and a half feet, we mark our X with the spray paint gun, just like this. And uh, so measure that out. This is the line where it'll be going. 22 Arborvita, these are five footers that we're putting in the day. I'm trying to create a privacy hedge for the client here between them and their neighbors. So this will be looking good here after the day. Also, when we're putting in these uh, holes here in the 12 inch auger that we're using, uh, to dig these holes, but we're going to make it a little bit wider by hand in order to amend the soil with some planters blend, which has the manure, good crop soil, and then we've got fertilizer as well. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a gravelly soil type in that driveway and the fill that they had to bring in here. So we'll do it by hand, then get some good planters blend in there with some manure, make these pretty things grow a little bit. We put up a 22 Arborvita hedge. It's just for a little bit of privacy for her and the neighbor. We put up a mound to hold water and we fertilized as well. All right, so halfway through this project now, grading this thing out, putting all this uh, fill dirt in the backyard. So we know where the bocce court is. It's gonna be about 60 feet long. Right now we're trying to fill in this back area. They don't want to have to deal with this pond feature. All right, we're over in Birch Bay Village and they were doing a project that we started a couple weeks ago. In the back here, this used to be a pond. However, it's underneath this massive maple tree and gets a whole bunch of leaves caught in all the rock work. So what they're gonna do is fill in for now, make it a limestone patio. So just, uh, we're gonna fill this all in with fill dirt. We've already started and then put limestone all in here so, so it's a patio. In the future, they'll probably put concrete in here. Um, so that'll be the back. In the front here, we started on this part two weeks ago. You can see where the white marker is. They're gonna make a bocce court out of this today. Uh, however, this used to be just a whole bunch of plants and a whole bunch of the grasses and just high maintenance and they wanted to make it lower maintenance and install this bocce court. So the bocce court's gonna be 11 feet wide by 60 feet long. So today, we've already leveled it. Like we've taken a whole bunch of plants out like I said and everything like that but now today we're actually installing the base so it's like drain three inches of drain rock then you put road fabric we put six by sixes around the entire thing for the border then we put road fabric and then limestone base compact that really level and then after that the client's going to put oyster dust which is essentially oyster shells crushed up as the base the final layer for the bocce court so this whole area we've been getting work we've already worked on this quite a bit we took out a whole bunch of ivy out of this front portion here and eventually in phase two that will get completed as well but today we are doing the base prep for the bocce board these this will be the uh border here the six by sixes all right so we're just wrapping up now we are uh, plate compacting this entire area this is the bocce court so we're just kind of finishing touches you can see we got these six by sixes in the edging, we're compacting this limestone underneath this is the drain rock, road fabric and all that. The only thing now I have to go on here is a uh, three quarter inch of oyster, crushed oysters, which is the final touch for the bocce. Day one of this project here is a new construction out in Birch Bay. We're going to be putting a paver pathway all the way along here as well as a berm. And then paver pathway will connect to the patio. We're going to hide this box here, this electrical box, and put some boulders around here, make some drain rock all in front here. This is where most of the action is going to happen though. This will all be pavers in here, all the way down this pathway. Already started on the Allen block wall. It'll come around this side like this and then once we create that we'll be able to backfill it in front here and hide that propane box they were forced to put in there so this will all be raised up the wall and then we'll backfill it and we're going to make a waterfall coming down the front here so that's why all this fill dirt is here we will make a cascading waterfall coming out of the corner out to here around the side here we are going to put 
uh, boulders all the way along this entire stretch from here to the water so that way there's a plenty of retainment here and they can build a fence along the top of it. All right, so progress being made here over on this job here, uh, starting to do a lot of backfilling. Unfortunately, uh, some of the blocks from that main wall that we built uh, haven't come in yet, and so we haven't been able to finish this wall, uh, which is kind of disappointing, but we'll be able to get at least some sort of a grade coming down here with all this fill dirt. You can see the pavers have been laid all in here with a random pattern, looks pretty good. And then we got the wall. That's what it's gonna end up looking like all the way around. Uh, but we were waiting on some of these uh, Barcelona type of blocks right there. But you can see here, using the excavator to pull, these off, pull all this fill dirt over, so that way we can uh, fill this cap right here. So you can't see that, and then we'll start turning the boulders, the, the fountain up around there. Or on the side here, on the south side of the property, we've installed the rocks all along the side here. It'll serve as like a retaining, retaining all along here. We'll backfill this all with soil as well. All right, so the boulders have gotten in here. We got this uh, the base essentially of the water fountain. So a nice drop off here. A little uh, drain off will be coming in through here, down into this pool, and then spilling off down into the bottom there. So uh, progress is being made here. A nice, we call it Colorado drain rock. It has the really nice colors. Especially once you get washed off, you get a pink, some blues, and all of that. So what we did up here, be able to hide that propane uh, box there. They still gotta have access, but we'll fill in it with drain rock all around. You know, the waterfall comes out of here, hits this thing, drops down, comes through here, drops down again, and it'll disperse into a bunch of cobbles and water. On some of the day, we are going to be cleaning up this landscape, taking out all these rhododendrons. You know, the plants here that are kind of overcrowding things. Lots of heather that's growing underneath the plants that we're going to tear all of that out. Uh, and all these old bushes like heather, old rhododendrons, uh, all this uh, undergrowth here, this stuff that has to be pulled out. You can see on the side of the house, it's pretty busy. We're going to clear all that out. Lots of wild organ grape, and we're not sure what the other planet kind of plant is, like some sort of currant or something like that or set say loud or something so like these gotta come out all this organ grape all it goes kind of underneath all of these bushes so we'll clear it all out it's gonna make it a little more simple a little less busy today we're in blaine we're gonna be pressure washing a big apartment complex with about four or five buildings uh 26 units and then we're also pressure washing all the carports with that bad boy we'll clean out all of the sidewalks stairways all of that, all pressure washing using 30 second cleaner on all the siding. So on this job today in Simiyamu, we did core aeration. And on our blog, we have more information on why core aeration and thatching is so important for your lawn for its overall success. And really, if you do core aeration, it helps a lot with making your lawn more drought resistant during the, during the summer the roots to go deeper and you don't have to water as much. So we did that for this client. Today we also installed 30 yards of fine bark mulch. Uh, so it was pretty thick, probably two to three, more like three plus inches of, of mulch that we installed throughout the entire property in all the flower beds, front, back, and both sides of the house. So here's a couple shots of the ocean view that they have and the property in general. All right, so today we are starting on day one of building a flagstone pathway. Right now, this is the line you can see. It's gonna be a nice flagstone pathway going all the way around here, following these blocks where the flower bed is. Today we are putting gravel on the side of the house though, with road fabric underneath. All right, so the flagstone pathway is coming along. We have cut all of this turf out now. We use a sod cutter, so it's nice and flat here on the bottom. Uh, they finished the side of the house here with the gravel, so no longer do they have to worry about weeds. It has road fabric underneath that. But yeah, this is, we cut out the turf, cut, cut down about three inches, and then we're gonna be putting the patio stone in tomorrow after we put some road fabric here, along with a nice crushed gravel base. And then we got the poly sand for the cracks in between the flagstone, which will be installed tomorrow. 